Okay guys, now today I'm going to show you how you can build your own email marketing platform like MailChimp. The only difference is going to be 100% free. So as you can see with MailChimp, if you had only 500 contacts, it would cost you anything between 11 right up to $299 per month. Now, if you increase that, obviously, maybe 100,000, this would cost you an astronomical $605 per month. Now, the solution I'm going to provide you here, what we're going to build together is 100% free and unlimited contacts, unlimited emails. All right, so for this, we're going to use Motic. So Motic basically is an open source marketing automation project. In other words, it's the same thing as MailChimp, the exact same, except it's free. And I'm going to show you how you can install that on your own server and how to use it and operate it, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is just to download it. So we go to download, release, Motic releases. And right here, you will find the latest stable release. So just click on it, just like that. And this will bring you to the GitHub repo. So let me zoom in a little bit so you'll see better what's on screen. There you go. And if you scroll down the page, you will see you have a few links here, those assets, okay? So we have to download the one that we need, which is this one, 4.2.2.zip or whichever is the latest version at the time of watching this video. So I'm just gonna click on this, save this on your hard drive somewhere, so save, there you go. And now if we click on this, you will see immediately what's the content. You know, I'm using uh, WinRAR for this. So let me open this a little bit. And this is basically all the content of this archive file. So what we're going to do now is to upload this on our server. We're going to create our database, link everything together and set everything up. OK, so let's go ahead with this now. So we're going to use Hostinger for this project. So let's go to the Hostinger website now. Now we're not gonna cover the whole domain name and hosting registration at this stage. If you want to do so, feel free to check the link in the description below where it says get hosting now. Just underneath, I have a direct link to another video where I explain the whole process, how to set up your hosting. So let's just assume that you have the hosting already in place. So let's go ahead with this so we can log into our account now. And let's create a subdomain for mrwebreviews.com. So emails.mrwebreviews.com. Okay, so we're gonna go to our hosting here. And then let's make sure we selected the right domain name. So mrwebreviews.com. So select the right account. We go to dashboard. And from here we go to domains. And let's create a subdomain. So let's call this one emails, okay? And we're gonna create a custom subfolder as well. I'm just gonna call it emails as well. And let's create. So as you can see here underneath, these are all the demo websites that I use for my tutorials. So the one we just created is right here. So emails.mrwebreviews.com. And as you can see, this is hosted in this folder. So underscore, underscore, underscore emails. Okay. Now what we're going to do is to actually copy the files we downloaded from the Motic website onto this folder. Okay. Don't forget for this, we go to files and then file manager. I'm going to open the public HTML. And then we're going to open our folder. This is the one emails. OK, now let's click on this. And as you can see, you have default.php. So this is basically a default landing page. Click on this, delete it all together. Delete. Very good. And now we're going to drag and drop the, the file that we downloaded onto this folder here. So I'm bringing this from another screen here. Just drag and drop just like this. OK, and as you can see, this is our file and now just confirm. So upload. OK, so that's done now. And now we need to extract this archive. So right click on it and then extract. And we're going to extract this in the exact same folder where we are. So as you can see, define dot as your location if you want to extract in the current folder. So just a dot. OK, and then extract. So there you go. Extraction complete. Now we can close this and now we're going to create our database. So we go back here in our main uh, screen. OK, and from here, we're going to click on database, my SQL databases. And from here, we're going to create a database name and username. So I'm just going to keep it simple, okay? I'm just going to put emails and emails. But obviously, you have to look for something a bit more complicated than this, you know? Uh, you can use uh, capital letters, lower cases, numbers, and all that. And then we have a password here, which is auto-generated. So what I'm going to do is save this somewhere. There you go. And then we can create our database. So there you go, we have our database created. Now just make sure that you copy and paste those details somewhere safe because we're gonna need them uh, very soon, okay? So next step, one more step is to create an email address. So let's create an email, so let's click on this. So there you go, and as you can see, I have different accounts here. So I'm just gonna look at Mr. Web Reviews, so click on it. 
and now we can create a new email address so i only have one is hello at mrwebreviews.com which is my main email address but for this demo i'm going to create a new one so let's add a new email address and you can create whatever you want so anything at uh, mrwebreviews.com so marketing maybe okay let's see and then you can type in your password so i'm just going to use this one here and let's click create very good and it just one click as you can see now we have a new email address and now we are ready to install our email marketing script so let's open a new tab and you can type in the web address here the domain name that you created so basically emails.mrwebreviews.com or whichever uh, subdomain you created okay so let's hit enter okay so as you can see here it says uh, ready to install so let me zoom in a little bit so maybe 175 percent there you go so we go to the next step Okay, so as you can see here, immediately we have the database driver. So it is a MySQL. So this is the one. So localhost, leave it as is. And the database port can remain the same, 3306. And now we are going to copy and paste the database name, username, and password. So let's do this together now. So Control C, Control V, Control V, and now the password, Control C, and Control V. There you go. And then we can go to the next step. So I'll click on this. And as you can see, it is checking the database. And if it's connecting properly, it will go to the next step, which is the case here. Okay. And then from here, you can create an admin username. So let's create Mr. Web Reviews. For instance, I'm going to use the same password as the database. I would not recommend to do this, but it's just easier for me here. And Gary. Okay. So I'm going to put hello at mrwebreviews.com. And then we can go to the next step. And basically from here, this is where we're going to configure our email. So all we have to do is to type in the server. So mail.hostinger.com. The port is port 587. Uh, the encryption is TLS. The mode is login. Username is your email address. So uh, we said it was marketing at mrwebreviews.com. And then we're going to copy and paste our password right here okay and the next step so there you go guys as you can see now Motic is installed on our server so all we have to do now is to simply log in for that we can enter our credentials so username and password and let's go ahead with this now and there you go so welcome to the Motic dashboard so we're just going to have a quick overview of the main essential steps you need to take so I'm going to show you how to create a form how to insert it on your website so that you can start fetching emails and create campaigns as well so basically you have all your menu section here on the left hand side and if you click on this icon it will reveal all the main settings so this is to change your theme categories configuration and create users and roles as well now if you wanted to learn more about what all these sections are about you can always go to the Motic website documentation click on user documentation and as you can see they all explain here in length and details okay so let's go back here now i'm going to show you how to create a form and start it on your website so for this we go to components forms and let's create a new one so click on new there you go so here you can create a new campaign form or just a standalone form so either way is the same if you create a campaign you will have to link this to a campaign basically with this you can just have the form on its own so it's just a simpler way more streamlined so let's go ahead with this for now okay so let's click select so let's give it a, a name so let's say test and then what do you want to do once it's been submitted you can remain at the form redirect url or display a message we're just going to keep remain at form okay and then here you can add form attributes so you have all the explanation here so certain types of uh, softwares might require this in which case you will have to insert this here in our case we don't need it okay so you can have a description here as well if you wanted to and then we can create different categories as well so as you can see at the moment it is uncategorized but you can create a new category all you have to do is click on this and give it a title so let's say for instance you would call this website promo or something like this you know and then you can click save and that's basically it okay so we can close this now there you go we have the website promo so is it published or not obviously it will be and then you can also define a publish date so do you want the campaign to start immediately in which case you don't have to enter anything or maybe you want it to start maybe friday at 9 pm or something like this okay so let's click save now very good and now we can insert our fields so what do you want to fetch uh, what type of information so probably the name you would like to uh, know who's who's registering on your website so we're going to select a name here so this would be text okay and let's call this name 
You can have a default value, the placeholder as well. So feel free to play around with this. These are pretty self-explanatory anyways, you know. And here we have a contact field. So as you can see here in the database, where do you want to put that information? So it's going to fetch an information. So what is it? Is it the first name, last name? Is it the title? So clearly here, it would be most likely the first name, okay? And you want this to be required perhaps, or maybe not. If this is the case, click yes, okay? And now we can click add. So now we have our field. So let's add another one because now you want to fetch the email address, obviously, along with this. So the next one would be email. Um, there it is. Okay, so email address. And again, you can add a default value, a help message, and so on and so on. So here, obviously, this is an email address. It's selected automatically. Required, yes. And then we can add this. So there you go. So we're going to save this again. And this is basically our form. So we have two fields, a name and an email address. Very good. And now we can go back to our forms. And as you can see, there it is. So this is uh, enabled as well. So ready to go. And now let me show you how you can insert this into your WordPress installation and show this on your page and start fetching emails. Okay. So for this, we go to a website here. So we install the demo website all together. And now we're going to go to plugins, add new. And in the search box, look for Motic. And it's the very first one here, as you can see from the Motic community. So install now. Very good. Activate. Clearly here you can see now WP Motic is installed. So the last thing to do now is to set this up. So we go to settings and we need to put our URL. So basically this is the URL of your website. Okay. So just copy and paste this. So control C, control V. And we're going to use this now. As you can see, this is the short code that we can use on our page. So I'll copy this. All right. And now we're going to open a page. So let's go and have a look now at the front end of our website quickly and see where we can insert this. So this is a website for selling books. And maybe we could insert this, uh, let's say here, okay, uh, upcoming book, notify me, this would be the perfect place to put that form and fetch email addresses, okay. So we go to the home page now, so let's edit this, edit with Elementor, and now let's locate the place where we're going to put it, it's right here, okay, so now we look for short code, there it is, so drag and drop, and now we're going to paste that short code. Now make sure that the form ID is the right one. So we go back to Motic. And as you can see, the ID here is two. So let's make sure to change this here. So instead of one, we'll put two and we click update. Very good. So now we can have a quick preview. So there it is. Now let's scroll down the page and let's see where our form is. There it is. So let's put a name. So I'm going to put John and the email address would be john.do at gmail.com, for instance. Okay. And now we can submit. There you go. So this has been submitted. Now let's go back here and let's check our contacts. And there you go. As you can see, John Doe has registered on our mailing list. So there you go, guys. In short, this is basically how you can build your own email marketing platform from scratch, costing you nothing and saving you a few bucks every month by not using MailChimp.